I'm Ricky. I'm going to be presenting about smart music today. And um, first, I have a slide I didn't prepare. I need a name. And I want the most, the most stereotypical Midwestern name you can think of. Johnson. Johnson? What's the first name? Olaf. Olaf Johnson. All right. <laughs> That's a stereotypical name. <laughs> One more name, and that's his t shirt. Sven. Sven. <laughs> All right, now, Smart Music is a music um, software that has been developed by a company called Make Music. It's been around for about, uh, it's pretty recent. It's been around for, I think they've been having developed it for about 10 years now. And it's a thing that allows you to take your large ensemble and bring it together and bring it in so that you can have individual exercises with your students in your class of like 100 or so. You can test them individually, test their knowledge of rhythms and notation, and do much more with that too. It allows them to practice at home. Um, next slide here. So you can test them. And then another thing that it's able to do is if you have, say you're teaching a private lesson with someone. So you've got a student playing an instrument, with voice, whatever. They have thousands and thousands of um, songs that are in their system that will accompany you as you play your part with it and will adapt to your, it will adapt to you and follow you along. So here's where I fell behind. So we have Olaf Johnson here, who's been assigned by Mr. Sven to practice his music for a uh, band, it looks like. And so this is how it works. We have students, first they have, they open up smart music at their house. They have they open up whatever they need to. And then they'll play, and they have speakers, it'll play the rest of the parts with them. And that'll play back out to them. And as they play, they'll see where they are in music. They can have a, a thing to keep their beat with them. And that's the next part right there, is that they are able to control it, and it will follow them too. And then Mr. Sven assigned him this. So what he has to do is he'll record it, and then you can email his assignment to Mr. Sven. And, uh, and then it'll also show a little bit hard to see. I have a video coming out that I'll show, but you see the there's the little notes on the screen there. The red ones will pop up when he plays a wrong note. The green ones will be there when he plays the right note. All right, and one of the key things that I find to be uh, make it excellent is that you're able to take a huge ensemble like a band or a choir, and you're able to give each student an individual exercise to practice their rhythms or practice their music outside of school, and it allows you to see where they're at personally and kind of have an individual relationship with your students when you have just massive courses. And it also allows them to be able to practice outside of school with their ensemble sound with them. Because um, I personally haven't been in a band too much, but it's a lot different playing your own part compared to having like 20 other parts playing along too. And that's another benefit too, is that they can hear where their part comes in and where other parts can. And the other thing is it can provide feedback to both the students and the teachers. As I said earlier, it's got the green notes for the right notes, the red notes for the wrong notes. And it allows you to, as a teacher to see where they're having trouble, where, you need their, where they need work with, if they need rhythm problems, if it's uh, a technique issue. All right, now it's time for YouTube. Very exciting things. on track. If I want to make sure that they've got their tongues lined up with their fingers, so this is kind of gives I you a uh, scale assignments. Basically what I can earlier. It's a little bit more keep track. It shows up on my green These are, these are a few, few interviews yeah. that uh, it's uh, all Make a Music Company has done with some professionals in the scale, area in their so uh, so music community. They will go through and play all these scales because they find all these different fun accompaniments. So they come back to me and say, did you know there's a summer loving back around for this scale? No, I didn't. And they're practicing scales for hours. They just had a blast with this. For the ones that don't have smart music, um, I give them the opportunity to go out of band rehearsal and go into practice rooms and use the smart music that we have at school. We have six practice rooms, <clears throat> and four of them are outfitted with computers and smart music. And lots of students will come in during the day, before school, after school, and do their assignments there. I even have students come in and say, Mr. Grimsby, can I get in the practice room? I just want to 
check out some solos. One of the neat things about smart music is that it builds a portfolio of student progress. So during parent-teacher conferences, when parents come in, we can pull up Susie's profile. Boom, it's all there. We can listen to how she was playing at the beginning of the year all the way through the, the rest of the year. And it's saved even from previous years. Before smart music in my teaching, I oftentimes was at the piano, or in our case, we had uh, CD players with a CD that we either had to run over and start it. We'd all have to play at one speed, and if somebody couldn't play at that speed, they were out, which was not successful with smart music. I'm all right, so they kind of, there's a couple of professionals there talking about how it's extremely beneficial for their own classrooms. And the final thing I wanted to bring up is, it's their own companies. And that is a huge thing for um, us teachers, especially ones from here that have trouble playing piano. It allows you to have your students have an accompanist and keep all that together. Um, there's hundreds of warm-ups that your students will be able to do with it. There's hundreds of... Uh, more songs, all that stuff. You can, another thing uh, that you can do is you can take from Make Music's other, uh, other program in Finale, you can create warm-ups and assignments for them to do and bring it over to Smart Music and assign that to them. And so in summary, I think Smart Music is an excellent tool to use in the classroom uh, for music teachers. Um, it allows you to assess each individual student in your large ensembles. It also allows them to have their own company.